So we have another new event to talk about today. This one's called Pitchers Playground. You can use any pitchers, any hitters, but you can only play at Forbes Field. So I'm assuming everybody's gonna have that or it's gonna be a prerequisite or some shit. You can only have a max team overall of 88 this time. So that's a little bit different than every other games. Usually you could have any overall. This one, we have a max of 88. So definitely gotta pick and choose who you want to have in your lineup. It's gonna be all-star difficulty, free entries, three in the game, same as it is every other time. But this one ends on April 29th. So you have till the end of the week to complete this one. And you can see in the right-hand corner, you got Bob Gibson as one of the ward, or rewards. Pitchers Playground, you're gonna have a lot of pitchers. You see here, we'll get a ton of packs. Set five headliner, this is the one with Eric Davis. We got Ball in this Habit. Set six headliner, which has Vita Blue. And then at 15 wins, you get a 88 overall Greg Maddox card. This card's definitely not gonna make anybody's lineups. The higher overall Greg Maddox cards are usually really good. He's got good stamina, but the hits per nine is terrible. He does not throw very hard. He fields his position very well, but one thing I've noticed, and if you've played the game online, you probably have too, is pitchers are brick walls on pitches up the middle. He throws like a high schooler, only 88 miles per hour. Great pitch repertoire, and his control is always really good. Yeah, 99 on the sinker. Like he's got, he's gonna dot people up, but it, with how slow he pitches and the low hits per nine, he's not gonna make anybody's team, but it's still another card that you can get, that you can save. And then when the event ends and his price goes up, you can either sell him or you can keep him because eventually he's gonna go into the big collections that come out towards the end of the year. So we have that. And then at 20 wins, you get 90 overall, Bob Gibson. This card you can argue is gonna make a lot of people's rotation. Bob Gibson cards are always really good. He's got good stamina. Wish the hits per nine was a little bit higher, but he's got good velo, good break, solid fielding. So I guess he's a brick wall back there too, but his pitch prep tour, very nice. Fastball that will reach the upper 90s, top out at 97. He's got a slider, a sinker, a curveball, and a changeup. So this card looks really, really good. But he does not have outlier, which I guess it's only a 90 overall. I'm assuming when he gets his 99 later in the year, he will. But without outlier, I don't know. I do wish the hits per nine was a little bit higher and the case per nine's not that high either. So we'll have to see how this card plays. Like I said, Bob Gibson cards are usually decent. So maybe he'll play better than his stats, but you can get 25 wins, get a set seven headliner, which has carp and then 30 wins. You get a big dog pack, which has you know, all this shit. I wonder when they're gonna come out with a new one. We haven't got a new one of these in a little bit. But that is the brand new event. Once again, this ends on April 29th, which is this Friday, which is also when we're gonna get the brand new feature program. So Friday is gonna be a really big day. I'm assuming we'll have a new event there too. So Friday is gonna be huge. So at least we have that to look forward to. The only other new content we got is we got a brand new headliner, set eight headliners, which is gonna include 92 overall. Dennis Eckersley. He only has a slider, sinker, and a fastball, but for some reason, Dennis Eckersley's guards are always really, really good. His hits per nine, like 86, it's Dennis Eckersley. That needs to be a little bit higher. But 115 Ks per nine, 95 walks per nine, 111 pitch and clutch, 98 control. He's gonna dot a lot of people up. Good break on his pitches. Control, he's 99 basically on everything. He's got 97 on the slider. So he's gonna be able to get you some dots on the corners. And then his pitch break, 90 on the slider is gonna be really good. I don't know, Dennis Hector's Glee cards, even though he only has a three pitch mix and the hits per nine is kind of low, they are always really, really good. But as always, we gotta open it up. Oh, we got also, we can't forget the jersey. You can earn this beautiful Atlanta Braves jersey that my face is covering up. But as always, we have to open the headliner pack and get my weekly silver card that I will pull out of this pack. Hey, maybe we'll, hey, there's my demo. I was just gonna say, hey, we get the Braves diamond. We get a silver here. Come on, be great, be great. Ah, it's a gold. Ozzy Albies, and of course I already have them, but it's still, you know, a decent price gold, maybe like 4K, so we made a majority of our stubs pack. Oh, I'll say it every week, dude. These packs are so damn bad. Do I dare open up one more? Yeah, you know what? What the hell? I say these packs are bad, but once I open up one of them, I'm basically hooked. We got a diamond! Let's go! Oh, man. Oh, man. I never thought I'd see this day. Never thought I'd see this day. Be blue. 
Oh, it's blue. We got Dennis Eckersley. Let's go, baby. We got the new headliner. I never thought I would see this day where we actually get the headliner. This is a damn good card. How much is he going for right now? He's got to be going for a little bit. 27 sound level, so probably around 30K. We're going to keep him for a little bit. Let's go. That's a, that's a good pull right there. Maybe these headliner packs aren't as bad as I say they are. Nah, who am I kidding? They, they're so bad. So the content schedule did update. We got everything today. And then Friday, like I said, it's going to be a big day. You see, we got a lot of content coming out. We got the feature program, which is going to include five new bosses. So it's no longer going to be face of the franchise. It's going to be a brand new program we can grind out, We're, which is going to include five bosses, moments, and a conquest map. We also have the first roster upgrade and downgrade of the season. We'll be releasing my predictions on Wednesday, which has always been the cutoff for when they can be upgraded and downgraded. They decide what cards are gonna be then. I told you that this event ends on Friday, so we'll have a brand new one to take its place where you can build lineups with players from the AL East, NL East, and NL Central. So a little bit random right there. No idea what the reward will be like for that. We also got a new uniform in Tops Now. New Nike City Connect uniform program. Uh, I'm trying to think what one's not in the game unless they're going to release one. I don't know. We also got the next set of April's Tops Now. I believe next week, next Friday, we should get the April Player of the Month program. So that's exciting. And then on 5-2, which is next Tuesday, I want to say? Monday or Tuesday. We got a brand new Ranked Seasons with the new World Series reward, which includes a flashback pitcher, and a legend hitter. So it doesn't sound like any new legends right there, but still it's a new ranked season. So the grind, I've kind of come to fruition that I'm not gonna reach World Series and I'm not gonna get 400 innings cause that's nuts in time for this ranked season. So we'll have to start fresh next week, but that's what we gotta look forward to. Let me know what you think of the content drop today. Nothing too crazy. Friday though is gonna be a big one. Look out for Friday and then next week we have some big stuff as well too including a brand new ranked seasons. We have the April monthly rewards dropping next week. Probably some headliners and some other fillers as well. So a little bit slower week until Friday. Once Friday drops there's gonna be a lot more content to do I think. So let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.